Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Um, good morning to you all. Just starting from my rank, which is the constable in Zambia Police, going up, up right there. All the commissioners of police, and on the IG, the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Garfield Samba, and the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, uh, Mr. Jack Nungu, and of course, um, the, the Father of the Nation, which is Mr. Hakainde, Ishirema, your Excellency, sir. May God bless you. Oh, may I just simply say good morning to you all. Uh, first of all, my apology for what I am about to do. Because I'm not supposed to do this, I'm not supposed to come online or social media, for I am a police officer and a public servant for that matter. Um, but I uh, had not any other option. Because if, to be honest, if I was to follow the proper channel of communication, I did not think this uh, message can even reach you, uh, reach to your officer exiles. That's the reason why I've, oh, I decided, or oh, I thought it was wise that maybe I'm just come online. Uh, your excellency is about us, the police. You know, we are sick and tired, especially us as junior police officers, because we are the leaders of tomorrow. We do want change. The second title of people or uh, the people that we save or the member of the public uh, calling us different names, uh, like we are criminals, like us being criminals, you know, being corrupt officers, we don't feel good as well. That we know if we're in a child to Kalipa. This is the reason why I've come today to talk about this. It's high time today that you all, you people, you know about this. It's not every person, it's not every human being you see in this police uniform is a police officer here in Zambia. I will say it again. It's not every person you see in the police uniform is a police officer in Zambia. 25 to 30% or maybe 20% to 25% of people that you see in police uniforms. Who are these people? Let's talk about them. These people are the group of people we call in police reserve wing. These people are 100% civilians who, are, who have never trained in any kind as a police officer or not even as a guard. They have never trained, but they have these police uniforms. They have all what it takes to be a police officer. They have all the equipment, my, my firearms, my rights, my pistols, everything. And who gives them uniforms? It's us, it's us, the police officers. The agency. Yes, we understand that back then, the reason why they introduced this system of uniforms, because back then, the police, I've been back in the police, because they had no education. But it's different from now. People, they, we, we need people very, very intelligent. We, but basically nowadays, they are learned. They are learned. We have a lot of learned officers in the service, of which this system has passed over to my mind from someone who is not trained. should come to an end. should stop. But I wonder why you know, our police, just senior police officers, have kept on you know, doing such kind of thing. We know. We know that these are the people that you send to ban the for you. This is the reason why we are, we are recording a lot of criminal cases, like uh, aggravated robberies, robberies everywhere in the country. And you find that these same people themselves, they are the ones who, who are in very so good of to commit these same crimes. We don't even know. But if some kinds of organs are just said, why? Because madam, someone who's just reserved by commit a very big crime. But someone that's about to talk about in shit. I need him packing my info. Five days, one month, bow your one boy's my info. I can kind of attack or continue to commit my mama crimes, same crimes. But if it's me, just a simple thing, Mzan Pisha Chito, and I will never come back. But it is there, Mzan. Everything, which is very wrong. It's very wrong. This is the reason why I come to. I come here. This is the reason why I want to. Please, Excellence, we are asking. Please do something. If not for us, please do it for for the next uh, two, or three generation of the police. We want to, to also to be doing, you know, right thing. To be doing the right thing. The reason why maybe in my family, my police let this thing happen because I'm not going to make a public public police. It's because of what we go through. These senior police officers, why because they are not Why? Because they are not paid This is the source of corruption. At the end of the day, it's the name of the police who is internal which is being ruined. This is the reason why police excellence. We need your help. We don't want these people in the service. These guys are. So how can they give a, a uniform, a combat, this to someone who is just, you know, a businessman? 
a businessman, teacher. These guys, they are, they are women for people. They are women, they are women for to work as teachers. They will get to know us and But if you go to the police, why? Because but if you are going to go to the station, police, you will telephone me to do. This is very bad. Very bad, and we want to change. We want something new. We don't want these people in short. We don't want these people in the cities. Before I go to the office, I'm going to feel quite a few. I'm going to say, 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 i am going to you don't know the info that you've given them. You don't even know that in Yangati, I mean, right now, they have started now buying uniforms. They are only at high prices. For me, just to see this uniform, hey, they are busy selling these uniforms. They make by Yangram, about 2000, like 2000. You want to make money out of that uniform, which is very bad. Which is not even bad, but very dangerous. That's the reason why the agents will want your help. Yes, this is what I wanted to say. Um, maybe I don't want to be like social media. Maybe this must, this must be the last video. Because I know the implication, I know the outcome of this. What matters most to me is the right thing to be done and the truth to be known. Please do this for Bantu Bada Isapu Nandu Kuntanshi. If you've got a fear, they have got a fear for the police. Your agents, please. I'm on my knees, your agents, please. Do something, please. It's only you who can do this, who can help us. Two, maybe I would rather to, I would like to talk about things like issues related to when we in prison, especially Bamuna. When we are back, we are in prison, especially Bamuna. How do we help them? How can we help them? We need to find a better way to help these people. Helping them is not about giving them food when they are in prison. Helping them is not about giving them clothes. Helping them is not about giving them, you know, education when they are in prison. Things that we thought to give them when they were outside there. Helping them is not about giving them at the, no, or maybe to teach them is not about giving them twenty years. Imprisonment, 40 years imprisonment, 30 years. No, you need to, to think about this. If you want these people to start changing, let's start and let's start you know, let's go back. Kuma laws them, but take this is my laws and start changing some of these laws. We need to make things laws that are quite a cut to sort it. Kupasa mundu 20 years, you will never change someone's character. You never know. Mamu funya, nisha bela kufi nomba. Aide mutuna kamuna kano, mutuna da aide na 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 shani. Ah, nia sort it. Bang up. Alam kusambi ya fintu fingi muda muda mshani. Alam wela asa mkuma balabe yako. Wee sika wana ramanje. Wee it's like some of these laws instead of correcting someone we are creating mbaka wana at stage. So we need to think about it. And again maybe I wanted to, I know this thing that I'm about to say. We'll rise against this thing but this is just the truth. The issue of underage. Let's think about this. We need to, to do something. We need to revisit this law yeah, underage. Underage if we will go from age of 16 to age of 18 or age of 14. Or some of these cases over Kakira Pumukuma underage if we will go from age of 15. Because, ah, I mean, Shalan, the thing is, and if you want more information about what I've just said, these are my, this is my number, my phone number. I'm not even scared. This is my phone number. 0973-44-1369. 0973-44-1369. My name is Achibe Chawa, KK2. I rest my case. This is what I had to say. This is what I wanted to talk about. No, right, thank you very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.